Hi, I'm uh, Matt Gerdari. I'm with the AWS Partner Organization. I help to run observability and security partnerships worldwide. So intelligent observability is critical to our customers' uh, cloud journey. Um, and we like to think about the cloud journey in terms of essentially three phases. You could probably add another one, but the three phases we think about are migration, application modernization, and then runtime optimization. Um, so for migration, intelligent observability actually helps with pre-validation and post-validation exercises to make sure that customers are actually getting what they intended to get on AWS infrastructure when they decided to migrate. For application modernization, as customers are thinking about going from monolithic VM-oriented applications to more distributed architectures, Kubernetes, microservices, and so on and so forth, what tends to happen is that you have increased complexity within those particular operating environments. And so intelligent observability platforms can help make sense of all of that increasing complexity while allowing customers to actually do what microservices and modern uh, application architectures allow them to do. And then of course there's runtime optimization, right? Once you have something running um, in AWS infrastructure, you wanna constantly make tweaks to it. Um, and you can make tweaks for cost optimization, for increased performance, for operational uh, excellence, and so on and so forth. That's essentially why uh, intelligent um, observability platforms are critical for our customers and why we love Dynatrace. Look, it's not just data on glass, it's data in context that you can actually do interesting things with. And with the explosion of data in terms of security metrics, application data, business metrics, and so on and so forth, we need to provide, and this is where Dynatrace comes in, we need to provide customers with not just the ability to generate and collect loads of data, we need to provide a path so that they can actually make intelligent decisions using that data, and they can run automated remediation based on how they, they treat that data and so on and so forth. So intelligent observability platforms, um, we feel at AWS really align well with what we call well-architected uh, pillars. And so these pillars are the bedrock foundational principles that we take to our customers that are migrating onto AWS infrastructure. And we let them know that you can use AWS native services for some of these things, but in the partner organization, we always want to give customers the option and the opportunity to use the tools that they love and that they trust. The constant innovation that we're seeing out of companies like Dynatrace are absolutely things that we want to be able to position across these pillars to take care of things like operational excellence, performance efficiency, sustainability. And if you don't have tools or platforms, intelligent platforms like Dynatrace, um, what happens is there's a trade-off where you're saying, look, I want to be competitive out in the market. I want my apps to be competitive. I want my customers to be really, really happy and delighted by the user experience of this application. I understand that there are op options within the AWS cloud infrastructure in order to do these things, but I need to be able to control for it. I need to, in, in order to innovate at the pace that I want to innovate at, that our customers are expecting us to innovate at, we need platforms, intelligent platforms, that can take the loads of data that we can extricate out of these environments and make sure that we have the safest, most performant applications available for our customers.